Uh, hello, this is uh, Nick995. For this video, I just wanted to talk about my top 10 PS4 games. My top 10 favorite PS4 games. Again, this is only for PS4. This isn't, so this isn't uh, for the entire, well, yeah. Uh, it's for, uh, the, you know, uh, uh, the entire uh, eighth uh, generation like of games uh, that I've played. So this is, you know, my favorite 10 out of that. And keep in mind, like I didn't, uh, like I didn't play, uh, like I didn't buy Xbox One this generation. Uh, I didn't play a lot of PC games. But this is going to be mostly top 10 PS4 games. And again, please like, subscribe, sh share the video if you can. Please share as users are hard to come by. My 10th my, uh, uh, game on this list is uh, Devil May Cry 5. Devil May Cry 5. It's a good, you know, like it's a very fun uh, hack and slash game. If you guys know Devil May Cry, it's hack and slash. You know, but this one you get to play as three different characters. You Dante, Ver, D no, Dante V and Nero. The different play styles. There's lots of many different enemy types. Uh, like it's very fun. I, I like the I like the arcade feel to it. And plus, there's like bloody palace. If you look at my DMC five review, which is like you're like fighting stages, like waves of you know like of enemies and different rounds and all that. But it's a very fun game. In my opinion, in my opinion, this is the best Devil May Cry game. Yeah, this is the best Devil May Cry game. But I highly recommend this. Okay. Number nine, Metal Gear Solid Five, and again, like you wanna, if you go to my top fifteen games of all time, I, you know, I, it's not gonna be uh, consistent like with this, cause I kind of changed up like the list, you know, like over, cause I did that video back in October of last year, so I did change. So like, you know, uh, some of this is gonna be changed up. Metal Gear Solid Five. Phantom Pain, this is the final, this is the final Metal Gear game. A Metal Gear Solid game that they made with Kojima. Kojima left, uh, left uh, Konami, the company. And it's unfortunate, I heard they I treated uh, Kojima bad. But yeah, a great game, like great uh, mechanics, like uh, the attention to detail in this game. And great graphics as well, like, like this game is underrated. I just feel like over time the game... Now the objectives in it can get repetitive. The side missions are repetitive. Like it loses the story. There's like fragments to the story missing. Or is it no? Are there like fragments to the story being told? So you know, you'll feel that there's like plot holes or whatever. Oh, I really love this game. But you know, like I I like the game. I beat it like four times. And this is like. Now, this is like the first Metal Gear game where they, they, they went full on open world. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, this, is the, uh, this is the first one where they went like full open world. Uh, and it's like open world stealth, so. And you can decide to take on, you know, you can decide which way you're going to take on like a certain mission. Different options. Spider Man PS4. I'm not sure if I made a video of this on my channel, not sure. Spider-Man PS4. If you go back to videos I made three years ago, I I uploaded random Spider-Man footage. Spider-Man PS4. This is like one of the, this is like my second favorite superhero game ever. Like for Marvel DC, I you know like I highly recommend this. And this is and like this is the best Spider-Man story that you'll get. And that's not. Or at least a, a Spider-Man story that's not comic book. Yeah, but this is the best Spider-Man story out of the movies and video games. There's been so many Spider-Man games over the years. This is like the ninth Spider-Man game. But if you ever... Yeah, like if you ever, uh, you know, I want, want a Spider-Man game, uh, you know, like I highly recommend this. The swinging is good. The combat is fun. Even though it's a bit easy, it's very easy. The uh, game feels very easy, aside from a few bosses and the DLC. But yeah, Spider-Man PS4, that's number 8. Number 7, Ghost of uh, uh, Shishima. I can't say that word so good. I never made a video of this. I, I still have to finish the game. I bought it December. I still have to finish it. 
And I'm like, I'm so close to finishing it. But yeah. Okay, this game probably has, like, the, the uh, best combat. You know, like, the uh, the uh, attention to detail, uh, you know, uh, in the combat, the story, too, is, uh, is very, uh, intri you know, like, it's very uh, suspenseful. Uh, you're playing a samurai, and then you're, you're basically trying to uh, protect your, you know, like, your home from the Mongols. The Mongols have came, come, they've uh, taken over Japan. And then, yeah, so, like, you're basically trying to fight off the Mongols, but the samurai there are uh, outnumbered, you know. Uh, I can really feel that, like, during gameplay. Like, you're going to be fighting, and there's going to be fights where you're going to be, like, a 1 and 7, 1 and 10. There's so many nice, good upgrades. There's nice, there's so many nice uniforms. Like, you really feel the culture through, uh, through this game, the uh, Japanese culture. Oh yeah, this came out last year. This is one of Sony's best games. Right, you know, I really love this game. Uncharted 4. If you like action, adventure. This is like a very movie-oriented game. I highly recommend it. This is very popular. Very, very popular game, Uncharted series. I only played... Uh, I don't know. I only played Uncharted 3 and 4. But I didn't... Uh, you know, I didn't play the rest. But yeah, you know, uh, Nolan North, the voice actor for, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Nathan Drake, yeah, he's great, he's great. Troy Baker's in this game. That's amazing, it's just amazing. And then uh, you go like, all over, you go to Italy, you go to, I believe it's Mexico, you go to, you go to the Middle East, you go to some parts in Africa. It's so beautiful. And then uh, the graphics too, it's so beautiful. Like Uncharted means basically, uh, like the word, it means that like you're uh, going to places that no, that uh, most people like, haven't been to. So like you're going to undiscovered territory. It's very much like a G.I. Joe. I know a G.I. Joe. What's uh, what's that, that show name again? I can't remember what that movie is called. The uh, Treasure Film. I can't remember what it's called. Ah, damn it. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones, it's very much like that. And then you're looking for treasures from like 400 years back that's worth a lot of money. And you gotta, you know, and there's lots. And this game added a swinging uh, mechanic, so it's like a grappling hook, so you can swing. And then there's lots of climbing you do in this game, lots of climbing. There's also uh, vehicles you can ride, like, lots of different guns as well. Like, I was, just, I, I was surprised. This, okay, this game had like. You know, lots of uh, guns. Lots of different gun uh, selections. Highly recommend Uncharted 4. Resident Evil 2. Okay, you guys, if you guys look back at the videos, you, you see me, me talk about this. I made a video on this a, a month ago. Probably like my favorite horror game ever. Uh, I, I plus, uh, like I haven't really played that many horror games. But Resident Evil 2 now... This game, uh, the uh, attention to detail and everything, Mr. X, the dark hallways, the zombies, the horror. It's just amazing. It's just amazing how they did that. Now, uh, this is a remake from the original 1998 version of it. But man, I just I love the attention to detail. Uh, you know, and plus the fact that like you will... You know, like, there's all, you know, uh, you can never really uh, relax uh, in the game. Because uh, there's always something chasing you, or there's always something out there. And you always have to plan, okay, uh, we can't go in that room because there, there'll be, like, a uh, liquor. Uh, or you can't go there because Mr. X is there, and then he's blocking the way. Man, great. A great game. Uh, Rising. Uh, Rising Zero, done. This is number four. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Rising Zero Dawn. Great environment. Great open world. Feels so real. Great graphics. Lots of different... Like, you're basically finding, like, these giant mechs. But the mechs are, like... And the shapes of... Uh, in the shape of, like, real world animals. So, you'll have a tiger mech. You'll have a giant eagle mech. You'll have a Tyrannosaurus Rex mech. You'll have an alligator mech. Uh, but they're huge. They're huge. And you basically... You know, you're in, like... Kind of like this tribal uh, society... And the future, and then you you are basically have to, you know, you know, you're, you're fighting these mix with the with the bow and arrows. 
but it's amazing the upgrades the different factions as well the karja the nora tribes the shadow karja there's corruption there's political corruption there's lots of many re different resources you can farm from these mechs to help build more weapons it's really fun and it's also hard to see and fighting health in this game is not easy you have to really plan out and resources uh, things uh, uh, some things t tend to be expensive and uh you can even hack into bots so let's say if you're having trouble fighting like one of the mechs you can hack into them this is uh, there's a mechanism called override and that that bot will that mech will fight for you it's that's a great it's uh, that's an amazing mechanism Red Dead 2. Number 3. It's my number 3 favorite PS4 game. Red Dead 2. Now. Now you guys see me talk a lot about this game. I love this game. It's the most immersive game I've ever played. I love this game. I played this game 4 times. And it's like on my 4th playthrough. Like I'm still intrigued. Like I'm still, you know. Like I want to know where the group is going to go from then. Uh, no, no. From this, from this moment moving forward. You know, this is obviously in the Wild West. You're, you're in this gang and then you're trying to uh, make it out. Uh, make, you know, like you're trying to uh, escape the law, you know, uh, after like doing like, a, you know, like this massive heist. And you play as Arthur Morgan. There's so many great characters. The dialogue is amazing. They uh, did a great job. They did such a great job with this. Witcher 3. Witcher 3. Number two, this is my second favorite PS4 game. Witcher 3 now. Now, uh, Witcher 3. Uh, I made a video of this. Again, uh, you know, huge open world, lots of interesting characters. The NPCs, the attention to detail. Like every single, no, okay, every single NPC you meet, it feels like there's a story behind them. That you want to explore more and more. And then the side missions, you just get caught up in the side missions. There's so many upgrades. There's he plays a witcher, so he has like a super sense, so he can hear things that normal humans can't hear. He can smell things that you can't smell, or you know, like that. There's a mission where you go into, you're going into this one area, and, and like you're trying to figure out like this one crime, this one crime scene, right? Then there's someone spilled like wine on the floor, and you can smell the wine. You can smell exactly where the wine came from. Or no, uh, or uh, where the person uh, brought the wine or whatever. The trail of wine, or there'll be like a trail of smoke or whatever. Or you can hear things in the bush, like from uh, kilometers away. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, you can burn things. You can mind control people. Oh uh, yeah, uh, you can. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, like with uh, proper upgrades. There's so many different uniforms. The story is amazing. He's basically looking for someone named Siri, which is like his stepdaughter. I love this game. And I'm not really a big fan of the Witcher lore or the Witcher. Because this is based off of novels, right? So. And the uh, Witcher TV show that came out last year. Ah, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. But Witcher 3, great game. I love this game. I, uh, you know, I just like read it too. Every, uh, no, uh, every single time I play it, it's like. Wow, this is just amazing. I, I, it's like I'm playing it for the first time. I play through this like three times. It's long. This is like this is very long. So much to see, so many areas to see. Now the open world can get empty at times. And there's broken mechanisms that the horse the way the horse moves and you move, you move very light. I could talk about this game all day. This is my number two. No, I'm my number one. I talked about this game on the most of my channel, God of War 4. You already know, this game here, woo, this game is like the, the goat of gaming, man. Uh, at least in my opinion, in my opinion. I feel like this game got overshadowed by Red Dead 2 that year, 2018. But even though, uh, no, it got Game of the Year, but I still feel like, feel like it got overshadowed by Red Dead 2. And other games like Fortnite or Call of Duty. And I love this. I love this. I love this. Just like the other two games that I talk about. Every single, single time I played. 
Every single new time I play this, like, I'm just caught up in it. And, and with this, there's a mystery because they rebooted the series. So after God of War 3, uh, this, came, uh, uh, this game takes place after God of War 3. So they uh, rebooted the series. Kratos now has a son and they're in a different mythology. They're in Scandinavia, which is like kind of Viking mythology or... No, uh, Viking land and it's Norse mythology. There's so many mysteries. So many mysteries to it. A lot of different mysteries. There's upgrades, great upgrades. The combat is amazing. The civilization, the structures are huge. Like you'll be walking into the, the second area that you go into, which is Alfheim, the second world, because different realms, right? It's huge. It's huge. It's massive. Helheim. Uh, what's the other one called again? Yeah, it's that is amazing. It's amazing. Can't wait for God over five. It's, five is supposed to come out this year. I hope they don't change that. I hope they. Well, I hope it doesn't get delayed because I really want to play five. Uh, whenever I get a PS Five or. Uh, you know, I'm hoping Sony can get their, the PS Five stuff together. And fix the stock for that. But anyways, this is my top 10 PS4 games of all time. Well, no, uh, PS4 games, you know, like for this, obviously for this, for the, the uh, past generation. Again, you guys, I uh, know some of this is uh, revised. I did change, I changed it up because if you look at my top 15 games of all time, some of these PS4 games weren't on the list. Or no, the the orders don't match up with what I had on that list. But I changed it up. Like I really thought about it. I thought I really put things in my, you know, uh, perspective since then. Cause making these are not easy. Once you get past the top, like once, like once uh, you get past the top five, it's hard. It's kind of, you know, I think it's gonna be uh you know, uh interchangeable. Or uh, like you're looking at things and it's like, wait a minute, there's this really makes sense. Uh, does it really make sense for uh, this to be there, or you know? But yeah, top a uh, ten uh, PS4 games. Hoped, uh, you know, like I might do one for my top ten PS3 games or PC games one day. But anyways, guys, please like, subscribe, share the video. Please share as views are hard to come by. Please share. Uh, if you're watching this. And I thank you.